Hey kids, this is Claire. Let's play a thing. Let's go into the DOS prompt for a, a thing that I'm doing. Let's play Commander Keen in Goodbye Galaxy, Episode 4, Secret of the Oracle. Hereafter shorted, shortened to just, you know, Commander Keen 4, because honestly, that's a mouthful. It's written by these guys, you know, the guys who made Doom. You like Doom, right? Who doesn't like Doom? And then there's these guys, they did the graphic stuff and the music stuff. And then this guy who just drew a stupid little fish. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna play this game. This is like the... I think this is the first video game I actually really ever played. I was terrible at it as a kid, but then I play it now and I'm actually pretty good. And, yeah, we're gonna play Goodbye Galaxy, Secret of the Oracle, all that crap. Check out those graphics. We're playing on normal. Alright, this here is the Shadowlands, the overworld we're going to. There is a plot, but it's a plot that is, you know... It's like Doom, except for kids. We'll put it that way. Let's go into the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket. As you can see, we are playing as Commander Keen, also known as Billy Blaze Boy Genius. He can jump, he's got a pogo stick that makes him jump higher but severely decreases his air control, and he's even got a blaster. He's pretty cool. You know, for a kid who runs around with a football helmet for no reason. At least he wears a helmet. More than you can say for most video game heroes these days. Yeah, this is the first level, the Border Village. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with Commander Keen at all, it's a series of platformer, puzzle-y sort of things. Not really a puzzle so much, it's mostly platforming. The thing about Commander Keen 4 is that all the levels are surprisingly open-ended, and you don't have to beat all the levels to finish the game, just you have to search through them for... Well, you search for oracles, because that's what the game is. But you don't know where the oracles are, you just have to pick a level and hope for the best, and maybe you'll find it, and maybe you'll just find a bunch of cool stuff, but... I'll play through all the levels, because I can do that. Anyway, there's also enemies, like those guys, those slugs that leave poison trails. And those jumping guys that can push you around and you can ride on them. And he just got me killed by pushing me into a slug. Because you only have one hit to, you know, avoid dying in Commander King. But you can stun enemies with your, ra your raising laser. And you can also collect candy and stuff. And basically, this is just a fun game. I like this game. You should play it. Let's go down here. What is down here? Down here is chocolate. Yes. And hopefully not vats of acid. Oh no, vats of acid! A giant statue of a slug with a crown on it. Okay. That makes no sense at all, but okay. And we're gonna go over here, and honestly, no, we're not gonna go over there. The border village is really short, and there's only one real secret in it, and that's up here. Yeah, we climbed through the ceiling, we're awesome. Now we're gonna jump up here and get all these life water flasks for extra lives. I mean, we could leave to the more regular end of the level by going to the left, but, you know, we get to climb through solid rock and get like nine extra lives, so let's do that instead. Let's stand on top of the doorway out and realize we can't actually go back on to the other side, we have to jump over. But yeah, that's the border village done. And then once you clear that, you can go either up there to the next area, which opens up the world map proper, or you can take a little detour to this level. We can't swim yet, we'll need some way to swim. But we can go to the perilous pit. Don't you like pits that are perilous? The early levels in this game are really not that difficult, even if they're kind of open-ended. Only thing the Perilous Pit really has going for it is a slight puzzle that teaches you about how the keys in this game work, because there are keys. Meanwhile, I'm playing with the physics. If you hit the pogo stick button and the jump button at the same time, then release the pogo stick button, you can do a really high jump that has really good air control. And it's one of the advanced tactics you pick up from playing the game. I mean, you can use the pogo stick just by itself, but it has such terrible air control that I don't even bother. Also, it sounds like the sound and the video is a little choppy on my end. That's because my computer is getting to get on in its years. It's had like half a decade's worth of solid use. It's still, 
It's still working all right. I mean, I can LP stuff and show off this guy who cannot be damaged whatsoever. You have to just time your way past him and get the gem, which is actually a key. Basically, my computer is old. I mean, it's running an emulator for a DOS game, so you'd think it wouldn't have too much trouble with it, but it does. It's an old computer. And yeah, there's the total lack of air control the pogo stick has. We're gonna go this way! So over here is another slug. We have more than enough ammo to dispense with slugs. But we're gonna go up here first and get stuff. The thing about the levels in Commander Keen is you don't know where the exit is for sure. In some levels you can generally hazard a guess that it's on the far side of the level you're on, but in our case there's just a wall there, so there must be some other goal we need to achieve in this level. And we're gonna find that, we're gonna shoot that red thing. Who does he think he is, pushing me into slugs? He's got that happy smile on his face like he's gonna be helpful, but you know what he is? A nuisance. And now he's a stunned nuisance, because you don't kill things, because this is not Doom. It's made by the guys who made Doom. It isn't Doom. Anyway, there's a spear, shovel, trap thing. And down there is a blue guy, and that blue guy is... a jerk. I'll try to shoot him in there, aiming downwards. For some reason my controls don't want me to, but there. Yeah, you can aim upwards and downwards in this game. And doing so properly can be very helpful in some of the later areas. Especially against enemies that recover after being stunned once, because... As we'll see just up here, once most enemies are stunned, they do not unstun. They will stay there with stars circling their heads and a confused and sad expression on their face. Or an angry one. But, you know, screw that guy. Pogo Stick is nice for the platforms that will fall underneath you if you stand on them, because you can bounce on them a couple times before, you know, it falls. These doors are important. If you go in them, you find these guys. We have the key we need to get to him, and there's that rescued bar, you see that? Let's add something to the rescued bar. We've rescued an oracle! We're pretty awesome. This calls for a thumbs up. And then another thumbs up, because we beat the level. Yeah, and the levels that you don't have to just go straight to the exit, you have to rescue one of the oracles. Once you rescue all the oracles, you win! Of course, that does require going through each of the levels in turn and figuring out which ones do and do not have oracles. This one doesn't, you just have to get through it to get to the rest of the map proper. It's also one of the more open-ended levels. You can just go straight on the surface and go from start to finish with no trouble at all. Or you can go underground and find all the goodies they have hidden inside. And spin around on a pole. Because, you know, why not? Who's gonna stop me? You? The RIAA? Probably. They'll break into my house and beat me with reeds. Anyway, I'm just gonna take the most epileptic path I possibly can in this place. I'll jump over you and I'll shoot the slug out from under you and you will fall down after him and smile at him menacingly. And here I try to aim down and shoot a guy in midair and look awesome, but I didn't, cause I'm bad at and that guy. Those guys are dicks. Those bugs, the bug that has flown away, and really I'm quite happy for that, they can only be killed once they land on the ground. And not by your laser, oh no. You have to pogo stick on top of them and squish them like the bugs they are. This is much easier said than done. I hate those bugs. And those bugs hate me, but fortunately there's only that one in this level and he stays well out of the way, so... You know, I'm just gonna eat candy bars. There's also a load of secret passages, which you can tell where they are, kinda, because the terrain doesn't quite sit right in that area. It's hard to tell at first, but if you compare the uh, area above the secret passage in this area to the actual secret passage, you see a slight discontinuity, and that's how you can tell. You really need to be, you know, looking specifically for it, though. It's, you know, it's a DOS game. What do you expect? I expect candy bars, and candy bars I get. You also should probably get the hang of looking up and down, because there's a lot of instances where if you fall down, the things down there will kill you. And if you don't look up, you will be ambushed by something when you jump up to places, and it will kill you. 
caution is the name of the game. And you can save your game in the middle of levels and at any time. Go away, screensaver. You can save your, you know, progress any time you like, but, uh, I'm not gonna do that in this. I mean, I'll save in between videos, because I can do that, and, you know, it'll just make for things to be much smoother all around, but... I'm just gonna, you know, play through without abusing saves like crazy, because I'm playing Commander Keen, not a ROM hack. I could be play playing a Commander Keen ROM hack, but, uh, no. I'm gonna go this way and get donuts and shoot that guy. And get an extra life for getting points. You remember when that happened in games? Because I do. I play games that do that actually surprisingly often. Because I'm old. I'm not really that old. Am I? I hope I'm not. Because, you know, I if I'm old, I'd like to retire and have, you know, a decent place full of interesting old people to talk to. Or they would be interesting old people if they weren't left in total dismay their entire existences. Man, I got depressing all of a sudden. Look at those trees. They aren't depressed. They're like, hey, we're trees. And we're probably on drugs of some kind, but we're happy. We are the happiest trees ever. And that guy, he's way too happy. I'll jump over you. You will push me around, and I will shoot him if he gets to be a nuisance. And miss! But it's okay, because we totally cleared Slug Village! Now we can go wherever we want. We can go, oh, I don't know. Let's go, we go up to the mountains, the frozen north. We go into this hill village. We go to the pyramids of the forest. We can't go to the lake yet because there's too much water there. Or we could go to the strange desert land. Really, at this point, you can just go to the levels in whichever order you want and do whatever you want. So anyway, I'm Kalir. This has been Let's Play Commander Keen 4. Next time, we're going to go to Hillville because I said so. Later.